It's almost fall, so we'd better get busy and change over our closet. Today, I'm sharing with you my personal favorite, fall wardrobe essentials. ladies and welcome to today's video. I'm so glad that you're here. Can you believe it is almost fall? <laughs> what happened to summer? I tell you what, we're living in a different kind of time and so I think it makes time travel very differently. But indeed, we're into September and boy, fall will be here before we know it. In fact, some of you may be experiencing cooler temperatures already, so it is time to get our closets ready. Today, we're gonna to talk about our wardrobe essentials for our fall closet. By the way, if today is your first time to watch one of my videos, welcome. I'm so glad that you found your way here. My name is Kay. I blog at dressformyday.com. I'm also, of course, on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. You could follow me all of those places. I'm a wife and a mom of grown kids. I'm a writer and a speaker. And just like you, I'm a busy woman. In fact, every Wednesday I upload videos right here for women just like you and me, women in our 50s and above mostly. Um, I want to keep us stylish and current and modern. And so that's my goal, just to help you be the best you can be. So let's get busy addressing that fall wardrobe. What are wardrobe essentials? Well, they really depend on your personal style essence. In case you don't know what your personal style essence is, I have a quiz for you. And in fact, you'll find a link for it in the description box below this video. So take that quiz and you can discover if you're a romantic or you're classic, maybe you're elegant, maybe you're dramatic, maybe you're more natural, or maybe you're kind of artsy and crafty or who knows, but you can get, get started finding out your personal style essence with that quiz. All right, I am more of a modern classic kind of gal. And so the wardrobe essentials I'm going to be sharing with you are those that fit a modern classic closet. I want to build a wardrobe that really works for me. So I've chosen wardrobe essentials in colors that work well with my signature colors. What in the world are signature colors? <laughs> You can also determine your signature colors. I have a link below for you that will take you to a blog post that I've written that shares how to determine the colors of your wardrobe. You get to choose. You don't have to wear the same things I do. But once you've determined your signature colors, mine are red and blue and pink and green, then you can determine the wardrobe neutrals that will work best with those signature colors. And I like to build my wardrobe essentials in those neutrals. Your essentials are simply the building blocks. They're those pieces, not so glamorous usually, like I said, usually in those neutrals, but they're the ones you have to have in your closet in order to wear the more modern, contemporary, and interesting pieces that you also want to add to your wardrobe. Let me get started sharing some of my favorites. Oh, and by the way, make sure you stay all the way through the video because at the end, I have a freebie for you. I won't get to all of the wardrobe essentials and I have a little something for you so that you can know all of the fall wardrobe essentials that you're gonna need. All right, first up, I do think that every gal needs in her closet some, some t-shirts, just some basic, comfortable, cool t-shirts. I like V-necks and I still like to wear short sleeves at this time of year. I do, however, like to add a few three-quarter length sleeves to my um, collection. I have a black, a gray, a white, and a navy t-shirt because those work well for me. So depending on your colors, you might would want one in more of an ecru or a beige, or maybe even a brown if you can find that. Um, I like the t-shirts at Banana Republic. I just think they do the best job with Sapima cotton short sleeve t-shirts. So I'm leaving you a link. In fact, there's a link to everything here in that description box below. You also might want some long sleeve t-shirts. Both of my long sleeve t-shirts 
are also from Banana Republic. They are ribbed. I like to look for those interesting um, elements in my wardrobe essentials to make them a little bit different. So I looked for ribbed t-shirts this time. Once again, these are from Banana Republic. I have white and black. You might want a gray or a navy depending on your wardrobe. Another top that I think most of us need in our wardrobe at this time of year is a good chambray top. This one happens to be from Talbot's. It's from a couple of seasons ago, but I know they have one this year and I'll link to it below. A chambray top is something you can do so many things with during the fall and during the winter and the spring. So I think it's so versatile. In fact, now that I think about it, I have a blog post about all the ways to wear a chambray top. So I'll link to that in the description box below. Another top we need in our wardrobe is a white shirt. Now, here's where we might differ. I am a classic gal, so my white shirt is one that buttons all the way up. It's just your classic button-up shirt. But if you're more of a romantic, you could have kind of a ruffly blouse. If you're more of a natural gal, your white shirt might even be a Columbia hiking shirt, okay? So it doesn't really matter. I just think we need a good white shirt that we could dress up or dress down. This one is by Lafayette 148. This is a pretty pricey one, but I got it in the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale at a sweet price. It has a lot of stretch in it. And another little detail you can't see, it has just a very small bit of silver piping along the edge. One of those really modern, interesting touches that I just really like. Another top I think we all need in our fall wardrobe is just an interesting and beautiful statement blouse. So this particular one is by Frame, and Frame happens to do a great job with silk blouses. They often make their designs in both black and white, and sometimes even navy. Um, this one I got on sale at a great price. I love the fact that it has the little puffed sleeves. It has some little pretty covered buttons in the back. So those are in just a nice V-neck. These are just the kinds of details that keep it modern, but it also won't go out of style anytime soon because it's a silk blouse. Your statement blouse though does not have to be white or black. It could even be a pretty floral or another design. Just make sure you choose something that's versatile in your wardrobe. The last top I think we all need in our wardrobe during the fall is just a good sweater. This one's a cotton sweater that I picked up recently at J. Jill. Um, you want a sweater that you can layer over these t-shirts on a cold day so or wear by itself. So I chose a cotton sweater in kind of an oatmeal beige. I just thought this would be so pretty with jeans or black pants and, and other things. So I think it will be very versatile in my wardrobe. Um, I want a lightweight sweater and like I said, that's why I choose cotton. All right, let's move on to the pants that we need in our wardrobe. Obviously, most of us are jeans gals, and if you are a jeans wearer, I am, you'll want a couple of pairs of denim at least in your wardrobe, right? I like to have a pair of dark wash denim and then a pair of more trendy, modern looking. These are by Rag & Bone. They're very comfortable. They have that raw hem. They have a little bit of ripping and some distressing. So that's my modern pair. These from Talbot's are a little bit more classic. They're in a dark wash. They're just a classic skinny jean. Another longtime favorite of mine is these uh, black pants by Nick and Zoe. I think every gal needs a pair of just nice dress slacks in your wardrobe. Now, you don't have to make them really dressy though. These don't have to be dressy. They're just very plain, but very, I think they're just very classy looking. Um, they have a lot of stretch, but they don't lose their, their shape. They have great retention and um, they're just beautiful. I have a flat front, an a hidden elastic um, waist. So just really nice. 
This year, I'm also adding to my list of wardrobe essentials a pair of joggers. Let's face it, we're spending more time at home, more time wearing athleisure wear type clothing. So I want a pair of joggers that are so classic and so clean looking that I could actually even wear them at home, but then also dart out to the grocery store, the post office, or even coffee with these. So these are not the joggers that I'm gonna be working out in, and they're not the joggers I'm gonna be cleaning out the basement in, if I ever do that. <laughs> but they are the joggers, they're a little bit more polished, I can wear them to work from home, and then I can still go out with them too if I dress them up a little bit. These are by Zella, and I can highly recommend them. They keep their, their shape, get great retention, but they're also just very classy and very soft. All right, moving on to what I think is another necessity in every gal's wardrobe is just a beautiful, um, versatile dress. And this dress is by Tahari. I picked it up in the Nordstrom Anniversary still. In fact, I still haven't tucked the tag off of it. Um, it's a beautiful fuchsia color. It's my rendition of the little black dress. <laughs> you know what? Your little black dress, your LBD, does not actually have to be black. Did you know that? It could be navy, it could be red or fuchsia or a pretty periwinkle blue. It just needs to be a color that's versatile. And I know that in a pinch, I could wear this dress to a wedding, to a funeral, to an anniversary party, to church. This is so versatile and actually it's a year round dress. So I think that's a real win. The next piece we all need in our wardrobe during the fall is just a great cardigan. I like this one because it goes just below the rear. I mean, it's a pretty long cardigan. Um, it's cotton. Again, I like cotton for this time of season, this time of year, because it's not so hot. It's not like, you know, cashmere or wool. It's going to be a little cooler, but this is going to work wonderfully over those t-shirts. It's got some nice cutout detailing along the trim, making it very versatile and interesting to add to my wardrobe. I think this one may still be av available at Nordstrom. I'll give you a link in the description box below. And it does come in other colors. I can't say it enough, gals, but we all need a denim jacket in our closet. You know what? I have had this particular denim jacket for, I think, 30 years or more. I'm pretty sure I had this denim jacket even before my kids were born and my son's about to be 30. How'd that happen? <laughs> So this denim jacket has been with me a long time. It is just your classic Levi Strauss trucker jacket. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I always find it on, in good deals at Kohl's and Walmart and sometimes um, on Amazon. So I will give you a link to the best price possible down below. But here's my suggestion. Even if you buy a different brand, I do suggest you buy a classic uh, denim jacket because this is the kind that's going to last you 30 years. Another item I think most of us need in our wardrobe, depending on our style essence, is just a good black blazer. Now this is one of my investment pieces. I will wear this for years. This has already been my second year of wearing it. This is a Veronica Beard Dickey blazer. It's a scuba fabric, so it's really stretchy. It conforms to your body. It's so luxurious and so beautiful. But it also has zippers and buttons so that you can attach or detach these dickies that you buy separately. So this is a little gray hoodie dickie that I've zipped in here, but I can also wear it without that and it looks more classic. So that's one of those interesting details that I love. Now, like I said, that one's kind of pricey, but I have this other one that is I love just as much and it is a 1901, which is a, a Nordstrom brand. Um, and I love this jacket. It has actually a lot of stretch in it too. It also comes in navy, which I have over here, but I won't bother to show you, but they usually have in other colors. So I've worn this one now for three years. It is so versatile and just fits so nicely. Um, I'll leave a link down below. I know it's available. Okay, that's where I'm gonna stop today. There are also, of course, shoes that you need in your wardrobe. I think you need a good pair of booties, a good pair of 
nice classic uh, heels, maybe in a flesh tone. You need some flats, like maybe some uh, pretty ballet flats or pointy toe flats or some loafers. Those are the sorts of shoes that you'll need in your wardrobe. And of course, there are other things. And that's why I want to make sure that you subscribe to my email newsletter. You see, when you subscribe to my newsletter for dressformyday.com, then you have access to all of my subscriber freebies. And one of my most often used subscriber freebies is my fall and winter wardrobe essentials list and my spring and summer wardrobe essentials list. And both of those are available to my subscribers. So I hope you'll subscribe. You can do that in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel right here too. It's absolutely free. And every week when I upload a video, if you hit that little bell, you'll also receive a notification so that you can jump right over here and join me for some more fashion or beauty or fitness inspiration. All right, gals, I am so glad that you joined me today. If you have questions about anything I've shared or a comment, just share that below. Also, I would love to hear from you. And I will see you again really soon. Bye now.